guys and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a highly requested video which is a notion tour i'll be going through and showing you guys how i stay organized during the school year and what my notion templates like how i set it up and i'll also be leaving a link to the notion template that i use i've kind of like created my own it's kind of based on a bunch of other notion templates that i've acquired over the past couple months and just kind of put them all together and created one that I use a lot. Definitely be leaving a link to it in the description box for you guys to use. Before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, they're an online learning community that offers thousands of classes ranging from art, digital design, photography, film, editing, language, basically anything you can think of. I'll leave a couple of classes that I've personally taken that have stood out to me. One of them is a digital art design class and another one is a food photography slash editing kind of course. But either way, they're both amazing and I highly, highly recommend them. Skillshare has no ads, meaning that you can focus on your classes without any distractions. And they're almost always launching new classes. So once you finish a class, you can take another one and you'll basically never be bored. Another new feature to Skillshare is that all of their classes now have subtitles in Dutch, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out. Skillshare has also been kind enough to offer the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box, a free one month subscription to Skillshare's premium membership. So highly, highly, highly recommend you checking them out. Thank you so much again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get back into it. Okay, so I have my computer here and I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through, show you how my Notion is set up. So basically when you open up my Notion template, you're just gonna see everything laid out so i have the daily tasks which include a weekly overview a habit tracker a gratitude journal a reading directory and meal prep and then i have reserved over here kind of like a little to-do list like if i have something or a couple things that i just need to reference throughout the week or there's something i need to get done throughout the week i'll put them in one of these spots i have a work section for academics, I have a fall 21 schedule and an assignments tab. And then for monthly, it's kind of like monthly reflection. So I reserve that for more when after the month is done, I'll go back and fill that out. Go into more detail as to the setup. One of the tabs I go to most often is the weekly overview tab. So when you click and open this up, I have some goals and tasks I can set up throughout the week a little quote of the day which i just take a picture or a reminder off pinterest and i'll just paste that there anything that i find like sticks out that i like and then i have it broken down by week so i personally like to set up my planner as a weekly planner instead of like a monthly planner or a daily planner i find that when i see all the things that are going on throughout the week it helps me space out my time more i do have a quick link to the gratitude journal the habit tracker and the assignments just because when i'm setting up my week i tend to go to those things most often and i find that when you're setting up your schedule it's important to like keep track of like when you're looking at what you're doing that day like you're going to also be looking at like did you log your gratitude today are you doing your habits or are you getting any of your assignments done that you might have to do that week i'll show you guys an example of what i have as a basic week for me right now so this is the actual week we're in right now and I have all of my classes that I've done and I've highlighted them in different colors. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second, but I have a bunch of different things logged throughout the week and basically it just shows what I'm doing when and just helps me feel more like put together in regards to what I'm supposed to do and when I'm supposed to do it. Just setting up your week, I personally like to organize my classes in different colors. So as you saw before, I had my studying like finance tutoring class in blue and my marketing class in orange and my management class in red and basically how you do that is you'll go to the little plus bar that's here you'll click add and you can click either text which that's what it, that's the smallest uh font and then there's headings which is the fonts that are like week of and stuff so i'm just gonna go to text and i'll just type management lecture and to change the color i can just click on this little this little bar here and then click color or hover over color 
and then you can either make the text a color or you can give the text a background i personally like to give the text a background because i feel like it stands out more so we can give it a blue background and then it highlights that text in that color create something else like if you want to create something other than a to-do list or a piece of text you can click the little plus button that's right here and up will pop all these other things you can do i would say the things i use the most is the text the headings and the to-do list because i find the to-do list so fun to use and so convenient and also like the colors and the highlights and stuff because i really like color coding things that kind of wraps up the weekly overview section the next thing i want to talk about is the habit tracker so the habit tracker for me is a good way to like hold myself accountable for like healthy habits I want to develop. So a couple of the habits I have just as a baseline are meditating, getting outside, reading, journaling, drinking water, and also I like to log my mood and my screen time throughout the month so then at the end of the month I can evaluate like was I spending a lot of time on my phone or how was my mood throughout the month? Did it change? I find that those things and logging them was actually really cool to look back on. If you want to actually add one, if you don't want to get rid of any of the ones that I have listed and you want to add one, you just click this little plus icon right here and you can add, you can again choose what kind of habit or how you want to check it off and then you can name the habit yourself. So yeah, the next thing I wanted to show was the gratitude journal and basically it's really similar to the habit tracker and that it's like a fill out table and basically what you'll do is you'll log the date the same way you would in the habit tracker so you just click on it and then i'd click today's date for example and then i have a space reserved for you to write like a couple things you're grateful for and then to log how you'd want to feel during the day so this is kind of like a select tool so you'll just click on where you would fill it out and you can choose from any of the emotions or feelings you would want to feel for that day this is a multi-select so you can choose more than one and if you can if you want to add a feeling that's not showing up here you can just type and it will automatically add that option to the select bar and then the third section is to what can I do to feel that way today? So this is a text box. So then again, you can fill out things you can do or a list of ideas you might have in regards to what you can do to feel the emotions and feelings that you logged in the previous box. It's just a little something that I found helpful since I've been feeling that like cultivating a good gratitude practice is really, really important. And it's definitely a habit that I really want to develop myself. So I felt like making this little kind of section in my notion was really helpful and has been really helpful for me another quick little thing i really like to have is the reading directory i haven't been using this as much because my reading game has been really slow lately this is just a place i like to come back to and just log the books i've read throughout the week or throughout the months what am i saying i don't read books that fast anymore basically the reading directory has a space for you to log the title of the book who wrote it the status whether or not you're reading it or you have read it your personal rating the date you started the date you finished the format and the genres you don't have to go too much detail i personally never fill out the complete thing i usually only fill out the title the author the status the rating and the date i started and finished it just because i like to see how long it takes me sometimes to finish a book and then i also have a separate section for you to write like books that are on your reading list that you really want to read and also spots for you to log the author format genre etc for those as well another one of my favorite parts of my notion is the meal prep i'm not really one to plan exactly what i'm eating every single day i'm not that good at setting up a routine like that however i do like to have a general idea as to like what i'm going to be eating throughout the week whether or not i'm going to have leftovers and what kind of things i would need to get at the grocery store since i really don't like going every day it just so happens that i make frequent trips to the grocery store but like i don't like to go every day basically all this has is a layout of the week so you can just write what you might plan to have for breakfast throughout the week or for lunches or for dinners and some snacks you might want to include throughout the week and in addition to that there's a link to the recipes you can make or the recipes like if you log any recipes so if i click here it'll take me to the recipes page and the recipes page is basically where I'll keep all the recipes that I've either made or that I want to make. They have a category for the name of the recipe, whether or not I made it, the category, so it's lunch, dinner, breakfast, pastries, desserts, snacks, 
whatever you want to call it. I reserved a rating. If it's a recipe you've never tried before and you want to just remember whether or not you liked it or not, how good it was, there's a rating from one to five stars. And then there's also a link. If you got the recipe from another blog or like a website, there's this link that's really easy to navigate. So if you just have, for example, I had this instant pot rotini pasta that I had been wanting to make. And so I added the link to this page. So when I went to make it, I didn't have to go all the way back to the website or like retype it in. All I needed to do was click on it and it'll instantly take me to the blog with the recipe in it. And I will show you guys quickly how to do that. So basically what you'll do is you'll go to the website. I'll just use the website that's right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to paste the link in there. So whenever you click on it now, it will take you to whatever link you pasted in the link section of the table. If you really wanted to, you can turn the recipe into a page itself. So for example, here for the kale white bean salad, I have the option to open it. And in here I have the link and I also have just the basic ingredients that I'll need for it and I guess a photo. I forgot I even put that there, but yeah. On to the work section. I have just a simple budgeting kind of thing set up. Basically how it's laid out is I have the month written down and then I write my beginning ending balance and just a place for me to log my expenses and revenues. You can also choose here the calculate button and you can have it, you can choose how you want it to calculate whatever your totals are for whatever you spend. For the sections, I usually just have the expense or the revenue logged here. I have the amount of money, the category, whether or not it's reoccurring, it's work, it's personal, or it's like for, for groceries. Academic section. I would say the academic section is the second most important part of my notion. I use this constantly and I am basically, it's just, I, I use it a lot because for me, for school, I'm one of the kinds of people that get really overwhelmed really fast in regards to like just seeing all the dates and all the due dates and all the assignments piled up on a piece of paper and I like freak out because I'm like, how am I gonna do this all like in one go? And putting it in this really helps me to space it out and see what's due when and makes me feel better about like when I'm gonna be doing stuff, how I'm gonna put it into my schedule and basically all those kinds of things. With the fall schedule, for example, for here, I'll just show you my current one. I have a layout of the classes I'm taking this semester. So in this case, I'm taking three. And then I have a room for the class number if you need to be super specific, the professor, the lecture times if there's an in-person or online lecture, the topic, which is basically what kind of class it is. I also have a spot here for you to link the syllabus if you want to. List to link the exam dates, just in case you have like an overview as to any really important dates and deadlines for that class. In reference to assignments, I'll show you the assignments tab I currently have in my Notion. It's a place I have where I can list all the assignments that I have throughout the semester. I usually update it per month, so I'll go through at the start of the month and I'll delete all the assignments I've already completed, add the assignments that I have due for that upcoming month, and I've made it so that you can categorize it based on the name of the assignment. So you'll just write down whatever assignment name it is. And then you choose the course that the assignment is for. So in this case, my options are my management class, my marketing class, my finance class or study edge, which is my tutoring that I go to. And then I have uh, organizing it by the assignment type. And then I also have a section to write the due date of the assignment. And specifically with exams, I like to also put the time. If you wanna put the time on the due date, you just click over where you log the due date and put here, opt for include time. And then you can choose what time you'd want it to be for that date. You can also make an end date if it's a assignment that lasts for a duration of time. And you can also choose a reminder and you can have, if you have notifications on your phone because Notion is also an app on your phone or on your laptop, you can choose when you want a notification to be received or a notification to pop up on your computer or whatever device you're using. I also have a section for you to check whether or not it's been completed or not. I love doing this because it makes me feel super accomplished and productive. I don't know who doesn't like a checkbox, but moving on to the last part of my Notion setup is the monthly reflections. So with the monthly reflections, I 
again it's meant to be used like once a month i don't really just only go to it once a month i'll go to it like throughout the month kind of like every month you'll evaluate what worked for you that month what didn't work and based on what worked and what didn't work what can you do going into next month to help you feel better or do better i also have a section here it's pretty simple it's just for me to write down like any quotes or any sayings that i felt like really stood out to me throughout the month or resonated with me in any way another thing i forgot to add was for the assignments tab you have the option to also change the view of the assignments so in this case if the lineup like this looks a bit too daunting which i totally i totally agree it can look pretty intimidating when all the writing's set up like that another way i like to view it is the board view which basically separates your class your assignments by class and shows you all the assignments you have for that class and they're put in the order of when they're due so the ones that are due the soonest are at the very top the ones that are due the latest in the month are at the very bottom and you can scroll through see which ones are due when and check them off as you would before it's just presented in a different format and another format is the calendar view which if you like to look at it objectively you can't really tell that it's separated by colors but it does show you what days you have assignments due at all so the calendar view can also be really helpful in that case too so that's going to kind of wrap it up for this little notion tour i really hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it a little bit helpful again i will leave a link to the notion that i use my notion template in the description box and if you have any questions please just feel free to let me know or just leave a comment below and i will happily answer them i've personally found this to be really helpful and help me organize my school year and like just make me feel like more put together as a person also thank you again skillshare for sponsoring this video if you would like to check skillshare out be sure to check the link in my description as well the first a thousand of you to check it get a one month free membership so definitely check that out I know that i'm sending so much love and good vibes to each and every one of you and i will see you guys in the next video